GameMaker offers two ways to create particles for your games, and in this lesson I'm going to show you the basic way. As you can see I don't have any sprites for making particles. I have a background which is the standard chalkboard background I use, and just one room, and inside I've got my object called particles. Here's that object. It has no sprite, and all it does, other than being visible, is when I press the left button on my mouse globally, so that's anywhere in the room, this code will execute. Now I've written everything in advance, so it looks a little complicated, but we're going to go over the three basic functions for creating basic particles. And they are effect create above, which I'm going to show you right here, and there's effect create below. All that means is it'll create the particles either above all of the instances in the room or below all of the instances in the room. To be more specific, GameMaker is setting the depth of the particles to be minus 100,000. That's when it's above. That'll be closest to the screen and above all instances. Or positive 100,000. And that's when we put it as effect create below. And that'll just push it all the way into the background below all the instances. So right here I've got an example of effect create above. If I turn off the comment, we'll get this assistance down here on the info bar. So the arguments that are required for creating the particle effect are kind. Now kind is the sprite, sort of. It's, it's a sprite, it's an image of what the particle is going to be. And there's a list that GameMaker offers. Each one begins with EF for effect, and then an underscore, and then the name. So we have cloud, ellipse, explosion, firework, flare, rain, ring, smoke, smoke up, snow, spark, and star. Then you pick the x and y coordinate of this particle effect. Now for the purposes of this, because I'm going to be globally pressing the left mouse button anywhere in the room, I'm going to put it at the x and y value of the mouse. So that's anywhere I click that's where the particle is going to be created. Then you have to pick a size. This can be 0, 1, or 2, meaning small, medium, or large. And then you pick one single color for this effect. Now of course you can put in your own RGB or HSV values or, or whatever you need to do, but I'm just going to use the basic built-in ones, which are C underscore and then the name of the color depending on what's built in. There are a lot of options, as shown here. But for this, I'm just going to go with white. Now this is the proper way to write a function, but I've tabbed it out and created different paragraph lines just so I can write the description of each argument. So let's put two slashes there to comment out that code. So we're only going to execute this effect create. Let's start with cloud since it's the first one on the list. Now we know we're going to create it at the mouse's X and Y position when I click, and we'll keep it small for now. Zero is the smallest size, then medium, then large. And I'll just make it white for the color. So here's what it looks like when you're actually in the game. Okay, so I've got a blank room, and when I bring my mouse in, if I click, I will create a cloud that is white. There we go. It slowly fades into existence, and then slowly fades out of existence. And I can kind of just spam this all over if I want to. Now, just looking at this, you're probably wondering, that's not a lot of options, or there aren't a lot of options. I can't change the uh, life or death, how long it stays on screen, or, or how quick it is, or the scale, or anything like that, and it's true, you can't, and that's in the more advanced particle lesson. Yo-Yo Games in Game Maker just set all of these default values for you to make it kind of simple. So let's quickly go through all of the other images you can use for particles. Let's change cloud to the next one, which is ellipse. And here's what that looks like. So now when I click, I get an ellipse. It's kind of like a ring explosion, kind of like the Death Star in the redone versions of Star Wars. The next option is explosion. Now for this, hey, let's just change the size to 1. We'll make it medium, just so we can see it a little better. So here's what an explosion looks like. 
kind of like a big plume of smoke. Of course, it looks like smoke because I've set the color to white, but you could set the color to an orange or a red and make it look more like there's fire inside of the smoke. Let's change the effect one more time to firework. So here's what this one looks like. There we go. Just like fireworks, it's in white. One single color because it's just the basic version of particles. But there you go. You could set this to when an enemy dies, do this one line of code. There you go, he explodes. It could be a spark every time you click on something. This could be uh, some sort of malfunctioning wire if you really want. There you go, sparks going. You can make it slightly yellow or slightly blue. The third and final function for basic particle effects is just effect clear. So what I've done, I've changed this object a little bit. I've added a step event and inside I'm going to create a cloud. So here's what effect create above will look like on one line. I'm using the cloud effect. I'm going to put it wherever this particle, or, sorry, wherever this object is in the room at its X and Y. I'm going to make it medium size and make it white. So this is going to constantly create new and new and new particles and kind of just spam it in the room. But what I've done with release space bar is effect clear. That'll turn off these basic particle effects. And here's what it looks like. Okay, so when the room starts, you can see that it's just spamming and spamming and spamming and spamming those clouds. And if I press space, there we go. See how it cleared them out of the way? Now, of course, because it is a step event, it's just always happening. I can press space and clear all of them, but then, of course, once the code gets to that point again, it will just create more and more clouds because it's a step event, which means it happens all the time. But that's how effect clear works. So sometimes you need to clear effects out of the way. Sometimes you don't want them to last as long or sometimes, I don't know, it's, it's up to you really when you need your particle effect to be cleared out of the room. So that's really it for basic particles. There's not much to it. Really, you just have to use this one line of code and clear it if necessary. You just decide whether it's above all of the instances or below all of the instances, and then just fill in these arguments, which really aren't very difficult. Now to end this video, I'm just going to quickly show you all of the different effects that I didn't show you. So here they are. 